So, One Piece chapter 834, um, let's talk about it. This chapter was a massive information dump. I never take notes after I read the chapter. I had to take notes this week. So, let's talk first about Jinbei. So, we find out that Jinbei appears to have backed out of the deal with Big Mom of uh, leaving her crew. Now, I can guarantee you, Brooke even comments on this for us. That this is not something Jinbei would do without a really, really good reason. I don't think he's like betraying them. I think it would most likely a situation where he was either told to like kill himself or let himself die. Or maybe kill Luffy or tap the straw hat. I don't know, but there is no way Jinbei would actually turn against them. I guarantee you on that. We also found out that pudding is not evil. Now, Apparently, it was the flowers, the talking flowers, and the trees, and all of that, were giving the information back to Big Mom. That's how Big Mom and her crew know everything. And also, Pudding had met Sanji, because she confirmed this when talking to Tamago, when she had picked out her wedding dress for the upcoming wedding. So apparently, she was going to meet up with the straw hat, but she was unable to due to the fact that these people came and took her away to prepare for her for the wedding. Because she's the bride, she's the wife, she needs to spend a lot of time getting ready, just find a good dress, get into the dress, get to Whole Cake Island. A lot of stuff needs to happen in preparation for this big wedding. We think of Capone, huge Peckham's in the chapter. I don't think Peckham's is dead. He fell into the ocean, but if you pay attention, you'll see those were whale sharks. Yes, whale sharks. And if you all remember an impel down, Jinbei can control whale, whale sharks. And because Oda has admitted he doesn't like killing characters unless it's necessary, unless it's in a flashback, that is very clear. That I believe that Jinbei will probably, him, Jinbei, and the whale sharks are probably going to show up and save Peckham from drowning. But as you know, Peckham is a Delibrick user, so somebody needs to save him. And who else could really save him besides Jinbei and the Whale Shark? Big Mom's dream is to have a tea party where everybody can look her in the eye. Now, this means that she was the one that funded the experiments on Punk Hazard. I always thought that was Kaido, funding Caesar's experiments, especially among the children. I just thought there was something else Kaido was funding besides the Smiley Delibrick factory. Maybe I missed something. I do know with State of the World Government once tried to do that. But I always thought Kaido, like, took the idea of the government and asked Caesar to expand upon it and funded him for it. But no, it was Big Mom who wanted him to do it. So Big Mom wanted Caesar to uh, make to the gigantification theorem. And apparently, he, he tried to do it, but eventually he realized he can't. It was impossible. So, instead of simply telling Big Mom the truth, that he didn't think it was doable, that it was most likely impossible, he decided to lie to her and continue using her funding to have women and booze. He lied to Big Mom so we could have women and booze. Okay, can we just all take a minute to think about how stupid it is to lie to a yogo so you can have hookers and a booze? Let's be honest, it wasn't stated directly, but he had freaking strippers and hookers, and he was sleeping with countless women. And I am just mind blown that a brilliant scientist could do something that stupid. Big Mom had his factory from Punk Hazard completely rebuilt on the island of Whole Cake Island, and one of her daughters is going to be watching him, watching over him, and monitoring him. I forgot their name. I'm sorry. I just don't. I. I cannot for the life of me remember their name, and I did not write it down. So sorry about that. But yeah, so the name, the, so one of her daughters is going to be watching over uh, Caesar while he does his experiment. He had two weeks to get it done, or Big Mom's not going to be happy. Like, he'll become food. So, if the guy, the, her daughter, can turn people into candy, then the daughter of hers is pretty much going to turn him into candy, and she will eat him if she doesn't do... If he doesn't do what he wants, which is complete the formula within two weeks, which he pretty much stated is impossible. But during the chapter, Caesar does sell out the straw hat. He literally tells Big Mom, if it wasn't for, for Trafalgar Law and Straw Hat Luffy, I would most likely have completed it already. They came in and destroyed my lab, and he, had, he starts talking all this shit about them, and he really just sells out Luffy. I feel this is officially killing 
the Caesar Clown for Straw Hat Theory. Because no Straw Hat has ever legitimately done something this bad before. This guy is legitimately telling on Yoko, giving on Yoko a reason to want to kill Luffy even more. Big Mom could have turned around and decided, you know what? Screw it. Here's your new factory. I'm going to go kill Straw Hat myself. Because he delayed the production of my, gigant of my gigantic formula. So now I'm pissed off. Like, he could have done that. He literally, pretty much, could have been sentencing Luffy to death. And he, he was fine with that. I mean, I'm not saying Caesar's a bad guy. I actually remind me more of, like, Buggy. I guess you could say, like, he's not, I don't think Caesar would, like, want to go kill, would, like, do kill. I don't think Caesar would have killed me. I don't think Caesar would have tried to take over a country and kill everybody inside of it. But I do think Caesar will do anything to save his own ass. Absolutely anything. I think he only cared about himself, but I also don't think he's gonna hurt too many other people to get what he wants. He kind of like a more asshole version of Luffy, in a way. So now, just let me quickly talk about the Capone family. So Capone and Charlotte Stefan had a kid together. Okay! Capone, Beige, and Charlotte Stefan had a kid together. That blew me away. I mean, I'm, maybe, the, maybe I'm wrong about this, maybe I'm not, maybe we'll get more information on this. But yeah, his name is Pex, yeah, P, I don't get the spelling now. P-E-T-Z, that's how you spell it, so Pex, yeah, so interesting name, uh, interesting they had a kid, I don't think much of it, I don't think this is gonna be relevant, I do like, though, have a baby, have like, a hat, he has like a cigar, I really like that. I think that's uh, really cool. It's like a nice little like Oda thing. It's like you, that would never really happen, but it's something you would just only really see in One Piece. Like I think One Piece is one of the only series where you would see a baby smoking a cigar. And last but not least, I just want to talk about the ending and the seducing woods and my thoughts on that. So I'm a little pissed that they're still in there, and it looks like they're not getting out anytime soon. And it also making me think that this arc will be a lot longer. A lot of people were saying it was going to be a nice little short arc. I just rescue Sanji, get out. That is clearly not what is going to happen. Okay, this seems like it's probably going to be a really long arc. And it may last a couple more months. Maybe another year. Who knows? But I can guarantee you it will not be Dressrosa length. I can guarantee you it will probably... There probably won't be another Dressrosa length arc until the end of the theory. Yeah, we're 65% done. And uh, I just, I cannot see Drexler being another Drexler arc. I cannot see that. I really can't. Drexler was a hundred chapters. But yeah, so let's just talk about, you know, the um, end chapter thing with all, with all those characters. So what were my thoughts on that? Well, apparently it's more than just mirrors. There's there multiple Sanji. They're putting, multiple pudding. Implying that maybe the seducing woods is where Sanji and Pudding met. Because there are multiple Sanji, multiple Pudding, multiple Nami, multiple Luffy. The only person that I think is legitimately real is the Luffy. He's the only one that I'm not 100% sure is real. I mean, and he really, he confused. Luffy's not very smart, so he doesn't really know what to do. He's kind of just running back and forth and collecting all of them. And he just, he doesn't know what's going on. And neither do I. I mean, apparently there's like multiple of everybody. And it's just, I guess that, I'm really curious as to what Della Fruit this is. Because I cannot try for the life of me, figure out what Della Fruit would give somebody this ability. I cannot for the life of me figure that out. But yeah, my, I don't have much opinions on this chapter. It was an information dump. It was a long, it took a long time to read. And it was just a lot of information, but that's all I had to say about this chapter. If I had to rate it, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. I was not honestly the biggest fan of the multiple straw hats. I'm going to be honest. I mean, it's just another question about the seducing woods. I'm getting sick of the fucking seducing woods. I'm getting sick of it. But because we weren't really there for the whole chapter, I'm okay with it. But if we are going to spend a majority of this arc... Trying to figure out who is the real who, I am going to be pissed. The Straw Hat has spent plenty of time together. Not as much time as some people pretend they have. So they've barely been together for a full year altogether. They've probably been together for a year or a little bit more altogether. A lot of them, they actually spend more time away from each other than they do together. 
But they spent enough time together, they lived together for God's sake. They should be able to tell the difference between a fake and the real deal. In fact, I'm surprised if we can't tell the difference when it's observation hockey. But actually, whatever. I mean, whatever, right? I mean, I will give Oda two more chapters to explain what's going on and stop fucking around and the to do thing was before I get start getting pissed off. I'll give him two more chapters because I have faith in him. Now, my bleak review will be out tomorrow. I'm sorry it's, it's really late when I got around to recording this video. So the bleak review will not be out until tomorrow. I'll try to get that up by around noon at lunchtime tomorrow. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. The One Piece Nation, signing out.